Well, former DA leader Helen Ziller plans on making a comeback to the party's top echelons. And this time she's gunning for the position of federal council chair. Ziller took to social media to announce that she would be applying for the job. So staying with the party news, the latest column by DA's former chief whip, Douglas Gibson, looks at the country's top leader's children and their powerful business relationships from former President Jacob Zuma's son and his connections to state capture to President Sir Ramaphosa's son's links to Busasa. Gibson's article titled Politicians, Talented Children and Those Multi-Million Rank Contracts also discusses DA leader Musi Maimani as well as Steinoff. Gibson joins me now in studio for this conversation. That is thanks a lot for joining us this afternoon. One may say there's never a dull moment in the Democratic Alliance. Thank you. I agree with you. I think I should start by saying I'm not available either to be elected leader, <laughs> chairman of the federal council or chief whip of the party. Well, that's a good thing that you know <laughs> that, that you do know when to make an exit. Let's speak a little bit about this issue, though. We have got uh, Helen Zilla saying that she wants to actually make a comeback. Do you think that is a good idea or is it just the remnants of an individual who refuses to let go of power? You're asking the right person because there have only been two uh, chairpersons of the Federal Council of the DA since its establishment. I was the first and uh, James Self, who succeeded me, is the second. And I therefore have a very good idea of what's required to be chairperson of the Federal Council. Now, Helen is a really interesting nominee. She's hugely intelligent. She has a work ethic second to none. She's had experience of politics such as very few people in South Africa have. She's got negatives like all of us. I've got my own negatives as well. Not everybody thinks she's wonderful. I've supported her since long before she was the leader, while she was the leader and thereafter. Every now and then I've said nasty things about her when I've disagreed with what she said. But on balance, I think one must say that she was a magnificent Premier of the Western Cape, certainly the best that any of the provinces have had since 1994. Mm -hmm. So she's really worthy of consideration for this important post. You know why I ask here, Douglas, is simply because she's also, as you said, she's got a very, a bit of a volatile relationship or controversial relationship with her very own party. I mean, obviously following the suspension and then also not uh, being prevented from making strategic decisions within the structures of the Democratic Alliance. This is something. So from there on, having that experience that even where the party does not necessarily want you to be part of decision making, to now coming back and wanting to be federal chair of the council in itself, uh, is, is, is it almost like a, is it revenge? Is it a way of propagating the systems of the democratic alliance? Or is it in fact that, you know, the leaders of the DA want her back? I certainly don't think it's revenge at all. Uh, I was very reassured when I read her statement to the effect that the DA has been through some turmoil and some distress in the last couple of months. You know, we lost, uh, the party lost, was it six or seven seats? as opposed to the ANC that lost 19 seats in the election. And uh, uh, many people in the DA shriveled up as a result. And uh, the, the death warrant was written. Now, Helen says she wants to uh, help to put the party back on track. She loves the party. She loves what it stands for, freedom, fairness, opportunity, and diversity. And yeah. those are certainly the things that I stand for. And really, I believe that the overwhelming number of people who support the party also stand for. Interesting choice of words to say she wants to put the party back on track because that would then suggest that the current leader of the Democratic Alliance, Musi Maimani, is maybe incapable or is failing at having the party back on track. No, I don't think it, uh, it necessarily implies that at all. Uh, she wants to help change the uh, current image of the party and, and put it back on the winning track. Mm. You know, for very many years, at every election, we won additional seats. Mm. And there's no reason why we shouldn't get back to that winning track. Mm. And if, I think that's what she's actually saying. Yeah. I certainly hope that that's what she's saying. Well, if it is putting the, the political party, again, if it is putting the political party back on the winning track, does that mean that as the Democratic, uh, Democratic Alliance leader, Musi Maimane, is not necessarily delivering um, on his promises to actually take the DA to that next level of 
win that you have to even call back an individual such as Helen Zilla to come in and maybe clean up the mess? Well, I'm not sure that there's uh, a mess to be cleaned up. I, I think that uh, people must be a little bit more mature about politics. You know, I've been in politics for two generations, two lifetimes, and uh, I've seen parties go up and parties uh, take a little slide, parties go down and come up again. And uh, so the fact that the ANC lost so many seats in the general election doesn't necessarily mean that it's about to go out of existence. Do you think that there's a smear campaign against uh, the current DA leader, Musimai Mani? And I'm speaking specifically now on this matter of Steinhoff. He responded and said, by saying that uh, there are people that are trying to necessarily smear his name and would not necessarily mention who. So is there a smear campaign by the people within the DA? I would certainly hope that there isn't. But uh, it sounded to me as though Musi, whom I like very much, uh, he's a, a good chap. I like him very much. It sounds to me as though he thinks that there is. And I think that's a, a great mistake in a political party. When you start infighting, the voters start turning their backs on you because they think you're spending more time on internal party affairs instead of worrying about them, the people who voted for you and put you there. Mm. We're going to leave it there for this afternoon, but thanks for joining us uh, there. Douglas Gibson, who is the former chief whip of the Democratic Alliance.